Hi, and welcome to the School of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, also called NAMS for short. We're excited to have you on board. In this video, we'll give an overview of the curriculum as it pertains to NAMS majors, how you select and register for classes, and introduce you to some resources available to you through NAMS and Stockton. You'll be invited to reserve a seat for Stockton's virtual orientation and registration. During that time, you'll be eligible to register for your first semester classes. Please be sure to attend during your scheduled appointment. The appointment will be held through a Zoom online meeting. When logging in, it's important that you enter your full name so our staff will be able to assist you properly. Do not use aliases. Should you have any issues with your schedule or receive a waitlist notification after your registration, you'll need to contact the NAMS office at nams-registration at stockton.edu or call us at 609 652-4546. We'll discuss this later on in the video. Please pay attention to the curricular details discussed in this video to get the general understanding of degree requirements and to carefully select your classes for your first semester. So what courses are you looking to register for? You've already learned a lot of information in the previous orientation video. Whether you're pursuing a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Science degree, you're required to earn a minimum of 128 credits. You are required to meet all the general studies at some distance and program major specific course requirements. Every semester, you'll meet with your assigned preceptor to carefully select your classes for the following semester. As you saw in the previous video, the DegreeWorks account will help you keep track of your courses you need to take to complete your degree. To graduate, you'll have to earn a minimum cumulative Stockton GPA of 2.0. It's important to note that all NAMS majors have to earn a minimum GPA of 2.0 in all their science and math classes. So what classes do you need to register for? If you need to take developmental courses based on your placement testing at Stockton or your SAT, ACT scores, you may already be registered for those courses or you'll be provided information on which course you need to register to meet this requirement. If you are a freshman or a transfer student with less than 16 credits, you're required to take a freshman seminar in your first semester. Although it's not required, it's highly recommended that the rest of the transfer students take a transfer seminar during their first semester in order to orient yourself to Stockton. Each semester, you should take courses to meet your general studies at some distance and program major course requirements. Make sure to take a nice balance of difficult and less difficult courses and not to overload your schedule with too many credits. Take courses to meet the writing and quantitative reason course requirements. If you're a new student, you'll need to take a W1 course or a Q1 course in your first semester. For NAMS majors, all Q course requirements can be taken within the regular curriculum. Courses that you take to fulfill the requirement of the A, H, B, or I attributes and apply them can be double dipped to also count for program cognate, general studies, at some distance or program cognate course requirements as appropriate. Stockton is now test optional. SAT or ACT scores are not required. However, as a NAMS major, you need to take the Accuplacer test at Stockton to place into a math course. SAT, ACT, or Accuplacer test scores are required before you're eligible to register. Test scores will determine which math courses you will be required to take. Please contact the Stockton Center for Academic Advising to take your Accuplacer placement test if you have not already done so. To declare a NAMS major, you must be pre-calc ready. This means you must have a test score that meets the requirement to take pre-calculus MAP 1100. If you're not eligible to take this course based on your placement or SAT, ACT scores, you can take the preparatory math classes to become pre-calc ready. Once you meet those requirements, you may declare a NAMS major. To meet the writing requirements, students need to take one W1 course and three W1 or W2 courses. One W1 or one W2 needs to be at the 3,000 or 4,000 level. To meet the quantitative reasoning requirements, students need to take one Q1, one Q2, or either another one Q1 or Q2 course. For NAMS majors, all Q course requirements will be taken within the regular course curriculum. If you are a transfer student, two W1 and two Q1 courses can be transferred in, but W2 and Q2 courses must be taken at Stockton. For all Stockton students, transfer or freshman admits, 25% of all courses must be general studies courses. 
For students transferring 64 credits, the general studies requirement is lowered to 16 credits. As a result, you could take more at some distance credits towards your Stockton degree, which now would be 48 credits for a BA and 32 for a BS. This is beneficial for students with excessive elective credits that may not count as program courses, but instead may count for some at some distance classes. For these students, a BA degree provides higher flexibility than a BS to fit transferring credits in at some distance. With the 16 general studies credits, you're not expected to maintain specific ratios between general study course types, but you still must take one four credit GIS course as a junior or senior to fulfill the general studies GIS requirement. Some NAMS labs are one credit hour courses and meet for about two and a half hours per week. These courses require a lab that is scheduled independently, but the lecture and lab course will have to be taken in the same semester as co-reps or co-requisites. In other courses, the lecture and lab are combined into one course. Example of these courses would be chemistry three or genetics. Please note that physics one, two, and three meet four times a week and have a co-requisite lab. Although calculus one, two, and three are not labs, they do meet four times a week. Lectures do not have a wait list. If a lab is full, add yourself to the wait list for the lab. If you get a seat in the lab, you'll be given a seat in the lecture. When you receive an email that you've gotten a seat through a wait list, you'll need to call the NAMS lab immediately to register. What are the difference between a co-rec and a pre-rec? A co-rec is a course or another requirement that a student must take at the same time as another course or requirement. A prereq is a course that is required as a prior condition to registering for another course. You will receive a co-requisite error if you do not register for the other course requirement at the same time. Go back to the search results in the registration tab and select the co-requisite course that fits your schedule, then resubmit. Please note that prerequisites are not listed in your degree works. It's your responsibility to know what the prereqs are for the class you're registering for. So what are the common issues you might have with registration? Prereqs are a common error. Carefully double check the requirements for the course to the prerequisites tab on the course catalog. If you have transferred in AP credits or classes from another institution that meet that prerequisite requirement for a course, but you're still getting an error, you'll need an override to register for the course. An override is a permit to bypass an error only if you meet the requirement to register for a class. If you do not see the transferred credits on your degree works, you must have an official transcript sent from the previous institution or college board to stop them as soon as possible. To request an override, complete the NAMS override request form on the NAMS orientation page or on our contact page at stockton.edu forward slash sciences math. A screenshot of any courses from a previous institution may be included in your correspondence to override the request if the course or AP credits are not reflected on your degree works. Once you're issued the override, you'll be able to register for the course. When you receive an email that you've gotten a seat through the waitlist, and if a lecture is full, you'll need to contact the NAMS office for assistance. Should you receive a test score error, this means you did not meet the prerequisite grade requirement. Please review the prerequisites very carefully through the course catalog, as there are certain courses that allow a prerequisite to be taken concurrently. For example, you can take pre-calculus while you're taking cells and molecules. You may also contact the NAMS Administrative Office or Amanda Allen at 609-652-4546 if you require additional assistance. Each class you register for will have its own Blackboard page. Generally, you'll find information on your syllabus, your grades, and other course-related information. Each course uses Blackboard differently. Links to Blackboard tutorials are posted on the NAMS orientation webpage. Please be sure to watch that video. To summarize our video, pick your courses to develop a balanced schedule based on the guidelines provided. Bring this proposed schedule when you join the virtual Stockton orientation. During the registration session, you'll be able to register for your classes. We will help you if you need to improve your proposed course schedule. Be sure to have some second choices of courses noted down if in case you need to swap. At the end of the registration session, have your registered course schedule reviewed and approved by a Stockton faculty or staff member. If you need to change your schedule at a later day, you must contact the NAMS office at nams-registration at stockton.edu 
or via phone 609-652-4546. Steps on how to register for classes using your Go portal will be covered in another video. A copy of the slides pertaining to this video has been linked on the NAMS orientation website for you to download for future reference. Program specific questions may be directed to the program coordinator and a list of our coordinators can be found on the NAMS orientation website under additional information. Additional or general questions about our school, please visit our website, stockton.edu, sciences-math, send us an email at nams at stockton.edu, or give us a call, 609-652-4546. Thanks for watching and welcome to Stockton and look forward to seeing you on campus.